What is up, gang? This is your boy. I got the juice, and we are back with another reaction video, guys. Today, I got something special, man. I've been dying and waiting for some old Dragon Ball Super stuff to come out, and the whole time, I've been missing out. The manga been showing like two or three different arcs. And I'm sitting here lost in freaking time, bro. I'm so pissed. I'm pissed off. So guess what? I'm gonna jump off to this. Cause this caught my eyes. This caught my eyes yesterday. No, Friday. Friday I was at work. The end of Granola Arc. Frieza has a new transformation. So guys, we about to get to that. I ain't gonna talk about it. We about to watch it. What is it? Black Frieza. So let's see what the transformation is gonna be about, man. As we kick off Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 87 with our heroes all shown standing together following their initial battle against Gas, as all three Vegeta, Goku, and Granola now shown visibly exhausted, it was only from there where Goku went on to comment, Our training wasn't enough in the end, with Vegeta responding, What a pathetic victory, never again. I'll hone my technique until I can prove myself superior to you. Yeah. Me lose to you, Goku asks? <laughs> Not gonna happen. But then, as soon as they noticed Granola collapsing on down to the ground in trying to get up, that was when Goku and Vegeta had quickly gone to rush towards his aid by asking, What's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Did that final attack really take that much out of you, Vegeta asks? Yeah. It's a move that is fueled by my very life, Granola says. I'm betting it's shortened my lifespan even more. What? Goku asks. I only have three years to live. That was the price that I paid to become the strongest in the universe. Why'd you go and do a crazy thing like that, Goku asks? I suppose the same applies to Gas? Probably, Granola says, though I don't know how many years he's been left with. Granola, let me take a look at your wounds, Monaito went on to quickly chime in. As with Monaito now being shown making his way towards Granola, in doing the best within his own ability Monaito. to try to heal him, Monaito was never actually known in being a Namekian that was able to heal <laughs> anyone fully until it came to the sudden shock of Monaito as he was healing Granola during this process where Monaito had stopped in looking at his hands as Goku went on to then comment what's up did you use your powers too much and now you can't heal it's fine just don't knock yourself out I'll heal on my own time Granola responds that isn't it Monaito responds actually I'm feeling like I could bring you back to full strength to where it was only within that moment where Monaito had now gone as far as to finally do something useful within the story and now finally being shown having to go as far as to heal Granola fully in which even with Granola now being shocked by this as he went on to touch his chest and look around it was clear as day even to the others that Granola was now fully healed by the hands of Monaito versus having to be partially healed to where even within that very moment with Granola now having to acknowledge this Monaito then begins the process of having to heal Goku as he then followed up by doing the same thing to Vegeta so now everyone is back to full health, everyone's strength is now fully restored, and it seemingly now appears as though everything is going according to plan, as Vegeta from there went on to comment, It's true, my energy is restored. Who would have thought my powers would have reaping at this age, Monaito asks. Maybe from all of the healing I've done lately? Good, That's guys, great, good. Goku says. Oh, I wish I could have used this full healing power sooner. Oh, well, it is what it is. But then, in the distance, as Alec had gone to oversee this, that was when Alec went on to comment, Comments, how was I so off the mark? The universe is strongest? What a total scam. The joke's on me for trusting in those dragon balls. In which as soon as Elect's ship was then shown arriving, that was when Elect went on to respond, open the hatch, we're getting out of here. As the very second he had gone in making his way towards the ship, that was when Vegeta had gone and looking on over by responding, look, he's fleeing on his own? Hey, Elect, Goku shouts, you're leaving your own family behind? 
quiet. <laughs> Shut up, Alec responds. There's no time to lose. Besides, any minute now, gas is going to... But it was only within that very moment, unbeknownst to our heroes, while they had their back turned, where we only then see how a straight energy blast had managed to penetrate and go right through Monaito's chest. As surprisingly enough, with Granola, Gotta Vegeta, and Goku now being shown how Gotta to be caught free off guard, this was the back. absolute last thing that either one of them had ever expected to go down, because that as Monaito from there Power was shown getting shoot. shot off the cliff and now making his way back down onto the ground, it now became very clear to all parties there that in fact the fight was not over because the, someone now decided chest, to interject the themselves once again Freedom. in shooting a defenseless Monaito all while they were distracted, Freedom. in which the very second all three had managed to turn their heads in looking back to see who had done this, it was only to everyone's horrifying shock to see that Gas was in fact now still alive, on top of the fact that Gas now had evolved oh, even more so okay. than how he did before because not only did all of the wounds on his body <laughs> heal on top of having his horns regrow, but essentially <laughs> enough it looked as though Gas right now had sacrificed even more so of his lifespan to get even stronger than how he was before because with Gas now being shown pointing his finger out, that's when Goku went on to shout, Gas, but how? No more interest in revenge, oh, Gas so asks, is that what you said, Granola? Oh, how about now? Still sticking to that soft-hearted claim? And Granola is pissed, but Granola has no time to fight Gas as he then made his way towards Monaito, as the very moment Vegeta had gone as far as to jump back into Ultra Ego, with Goku now being shown jumping back into Ultra Instinct, neither of the two Saiyans were looking to waste any more time by now going out of their way to put Gas down for good, as they were both now being shown dashing that reputation towards Gas, with Gas being shown having to extend his arms, it was only upon having to now bring his hands closer together by using telekinesis, where Gas from there had managed to grab onto both Goku and Vegeta and smash them into one another, as neither of the two were expecting for this to happen, as Gas from there had gone as far as to knock them both back down onto the ground, it was clear as day now, despite having to be at full strength, where both Goku and Vegeta knew exactly what they needed to do, as they quickly went on to maintain balance by dashing back at Gas, as we only from there see how Ultra Instant Goku was actually able to hit Gas with such tremendous amounts of force that he was only from there able to not only shatter Gas's horn again, but if you look closely enough, Goku had actually now managed to punch skin off of Gas's face, in which Vegeta had also from that point had gone as far as to capitalize on this because with Vegeta also now being shown kicking Gas in the face before having to then kick him up in the Damn. air, Ultra Ego Vegeta and Ultra Instant American Goku Damn. were now being shown getting ready to unleash the Gallic Gun and the Kamehameha, with Gas's body being shown having to fly upwards, with pieces of his left face now being shown missing, it was only from that point where Gas quickly went on to stabilize himself in sticking his arms out in unleashing a gigantic blast at Goku and Vegeta, to where even they themselves, before even having the opportunity to fire the Gallic Gun and the Kamehameha, were shocked, <laughs> because the blast itself, as it was beginning to emanate from Gas, was so large that it ultimately overtook Goku and Vegeta completely completely and now establishing yeah. the fact that yes despite both of them having that to be fully strong. healed and at full <clears throat> power now it still appears as though that even despite all of that gas is still stronger than the both of them to where as gas was shown having to fire the attack simultaneously from there at the same time gas had managed to speed blitz his way through his own blast in making his way towards goku and vegeta which the gas's credit was a brilliant strategy enough to go as far as to blind them momentarily and move with such precision that neither of them were able to pick up on because the moment Gas was then shown kicking both of them in the face, he immediately then proceeded to leap on backwards as the two were now shown dropping on down to the ground because it was the very moment as both of them had gone to hit the pavement below, Gas ended up landing safely on the ground as he from there went on to look on by responding, ah, uh, he dove right into his own energy blast, Goku says. It's like he doesn't even care about taking damage. Or sheer madness, Vegeta responds. Bonds, it's like we're fighting something that's already dead. Monaito! Monaito, no, you can't die, Granola shouts. It's fine, Granola. My you know, life should have ended them, 40 boy, years ago. My only duty since then was raising you right, but you don't need me anymore. Of course I need you. Thank you, Granola. Spending the last of my long years with you was 
more than I could have asked for. N no! Don't give up, Granola Shouts! I can't let you die! I, I won't let you die! But as soon as we then go back to Goku, who was then shown having to kick gas directly in the arm, it would only appear as though Goku's kick now had significantly damaged gas, or at least that's how it appeared, because the very second Goku was then shown breaking away and noticing how gas's arm was literally now being shown falling apart, what gas ended up doing as a response was from there being shown clinching onto his fist and punching Goku directly in the head, which That's subsequently enough resulted in Goku falling no back experience. with Vegeta being shocked at the overall situation because it didn't even appear as though anything that they were doing was beginning to work on Gas because essentially enough, Gas was already falling apart. There were pieces of his bicep missing, there were parts of his face missing, and all the while as Gas was shown standing there and laughing in their face, we only then take a look and seeing as to how with Goku now being shown getting back up, that's when Goku went on to comment, damn, how is that arm of his still even moving? Or it's like a curse, Vegeta says. Cursed to be the strongest in the universe. Yes, good. Here we go, Alex shouts. Get them! Go on, Gas. You'll be the strongest of all up until the last second you die. Kill them! Kill, kill, kill! But then, out of nowhere, that was when his own family had then gone as far as to step forward in blocking his view as Maki went on to shout, Quit it, Alex! Look at him! That isn't normal! Let's get out of here! This is a battle that we can put off winning! But then, Alec quickly had gone as far as to interject by slapping Maki and telling her, Shut up! To where as soon as Maki was shockingly enough then shown stumbling onto oil, that's when Alec went on to continue, I told you, there won't be a... Hey, man, you shop at Walmart, you already know. How to spend a little less. Oh, then I gotta watch like, the whole ad, bro. Now we all know about Walmart, dog. Come on, man. Shop at Walmart every day, damn. Basically, $240 every month for Get out. Check out how much I'm... Okay. The next time, Gas's lifespan is about to run out. Making him far and away the strongest in the universe meant sacrificing that much of his life. In which as soon as Gas himself had now gone as far as to overhear this while he was on top of Goku, it almost even appeared as though this was the first time that even Gas himself had now learned about this as Gas comments, I'm... Dying? Alec, that's messed up, Maki says. To where as soon as Gas had gotten up off of Goku and leaned on over into the water to see his reflection, this was in fact the first time that Gas had now visibly seen what he'd look like as Gas responds, My face! Why? Stop screwing around, Gas! Kill them now! Quick! <laughs> At least make yourself useful to me in your final moments, you worthless scum! Waste any more time and before we know know it, he's gonna! But then, unbeknownst to everyone from the heavens above, as he was only then shown making his way down in landing on planet Sorel, we finally then see the reintroduction of Frieza within the yeah. Dragon Ball Super manga, as there was literal Frieza. silence that had echoed all around the planets as Goku, Vegeta, Granola, Alec, Maki, Oil, and even Gas stood in absolute yeah. silence for a moment because nobody at that point Minus Alec could have possibly ever guessed or foreseen Frieza now making his way in arriving onto the planet itself, in which even when Gas was then shown slowly turning around and going as far as to acknowledge him, before Frieza had even taken the liberty to stand fully back up by even lifting his head, you can almost feel the fear emanating from Frieza as Frieza went on to respond, It's been some time, Gas. F Frieza, Goku says, why is he here? Here. I understand you have some business with me. What might that be, he asks. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm going to kill you, Gas shouts. To where as soon as Gas was then shown giving it his all in making his way towards Frieza with Frieza being shown smiling, it was only within the blink of an eye where out of nowhere Frieza had gone as far as to now make his move, and he did this by speed blitzing right in front of Gas and from there being shown having to completely impale him, which mind you, if you stop and pay close enough attention, Frieza is actually doing this while in his final form, so Frieza didn't even have to transform in order to get 
get the job done, and everybody from Goku to Vegeta to we Maki to Oil Since and to even Alec, everyone stood in absolute shock as to what they were seeing because nobody would have ever suspected to see something like this actually happen, in which even Gas himself had no response to this as he himself was also in a state of shock to where by the very end, once it was all said and done with Frieza shown laughing, it was only within that very moment Man, as gone. Frieza had done this where Gas's body was from there shown completely deteriorating as his skin was beginning to fall off the bone. This had now marked the official end of Gas as his lifespan came to an end as essentially by the very end of it, once there was nothing left outside of just skull and bones, as not a single word was uttered as this was happening, we only from there see the remnants of Gas's bones having to completely surround Frieza's body, with Frieza shown casually dusting himself off as he went about by ripping Gas apart, in which to add even more disrespect and insult to injury as Frieza was shown approaching his skull, we only from there see how Frieza had gone about by placing his foot on top of Gas's skull, and from there being shown creating enough pressure to completely smash his skull into pieces, it was very clear by now that a message was in fact sent to everybody as even Alec himself could not believe this, with Frieza then being shown redirecting his focus in addressing Alec, that's when Frieza went on to respond, Alec, you're the one who contacted me, so once again, I ask, what is your business with me? G -g Gas was... He just in one blow? No way, Goku says. Unless you had a legitimate reason for summoning me, Frieza continues, you're going to be quite sorry you did. We got our wires crossed, that's all Alec responds. No business deal today, I'm afraid, so we're Don't so very it, sorry. No. Crossed no. wires, huh? Let me guess, you meant to have gas kill me. Um, I have bad news for you then. It looks like gas is dust in the wind. And as soon as Frieza had then gone as far as to speed blitz towards him, Alec at that man. point was absolutely terrified as Frieza went on to continue. I've known more, all huh? about your ambitions these last past 40 years. I Made knew, it. and I let you scurry around all while exploiting you for my army's benefit. N no way. You, say, not, buddy. you knew? Why, there isn't a single thing in this universe I'm not privy to, Frieza responds. For example, the fact that the weakest of the heaters is you. To which with even Maki and Oil having to overhear this as they themselves could not believe it, it was only within that very moment for the first time within the Granola arc where instead of using his gun as a means of getting the job done, Alec had gone as far as to shoot his shot in throwing the first ever punch that he did within the story only for it to backfire with Frieza being shown casually grabbing on to his fist in responding in his own way by them being shown sticking his arm out as Alec knew exactly what was about to happen to where Frieza from that, that point that? on was what? not looking to waste any more time because with one casual blast that spelled the end of Alec it was now official Lightning that both Gas <laughs> and Alec were now destroyed by Frieza with the dust now being shown settling on in <clears throat> Would you shop at Walmart? Oh, you get it. Dead, bro. You spend a little less. Dang, man. And you can carry. I've been trying to show all my head, bro. Damn, we're in the shop there already. I went to the Experian Marketplace. I got pre-approved for a great care. credit card. With Experian and this new travel card that I got through them, I'm out of here. I'm on my way to Thailand. Experian can help you find credit cards, get your free FICO score, then see your card Bro. orders. Download the Experian app now. Alright, thank you. Aki and Oil are an absolute shock. They could not believe that Frieza had now gone as far as to do this, with both of them being shown dropping on down as Maki fainted and with Oil now being scared, instead of now shifting his focus to both Maki and Oil, what Frieza had now done instead was as Frieza had gone as far as to turn his head and looking out into the distance it was only then where Frieza had gone as far as to now spot both Goku and Vegeta standing side by side, with even both Goku and Vegeta themselves looking very tense and nervous at the overall situation, it would only appear as though both of them had gone as far as to remain calm but focused at the same time, as it was only then where Frieza went on to address Goku and Vegeta by telling them, why, if it isn't you two, it seems the gang's all here. Frieza, how'd you manage to kill Gas? How, you ask? Our Gas had become the strongest warrior in the universe, Vegeta shouts. By all rights, he should have been far stronger than you, with Frieza responding. 
thinking, in this universe, you mean? Oh, ah, of course. I've been spending some time in another dimension, you see. So perhaps I wasn't being counted as part of this universe. Uh, what other dimension, Goku asks? One of my many conquered worlds, Frieza responds. I happen to come across a chamber where time flows differently than in the outside world. Yeah, yeah, oh, of spirit and time, Vegeta shouts. There, I was able to squeeze in ten years worth of training. And the Saiyans are shocked as they both went on to respond, it, it, it can't be. I couldn't very well keep up losing to Saiyans my whole life, so I needed a bit of a power-up. A power-up, Goku okay. asks? Which by no stretch of the imagination was Frieza bluffing in the slightest because the very moment Frieza had gotten into position in getting ready to now reveal the fruits of his training spent within this realm, it was only right then and there to the horrifying shock of both Goku and Vegeta, where Frieza had now gone as far as to reveal his brand new ultimate black transformation, which was the absolute last thing that our heroes needed to see, especially when having to fight off against two of the so-called strongest warriors in the universe, as with Frieza now left smiling as Goku and Vegeta are trying to process as to what they're looking at, it was just as Frieza had gone as far as to transform, where Frieza went on to tell them, meet Black Frieza, achieving this form to plenty of toll, I'll have you know. No way! And Frieza was not bluffing, because the very second Black Frieza had then gone out of his way in dashing directly towards Goku and Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta were left with no other choice than to now use Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego as a means of countering Black Frieza, but with how fast Black Frieza was seemingly traveling, it almost appeared as though our heroes were not able to keep up, because Frieza at that point knew that he had the upper hand, because the second he from there managed to get in between them, and from there being shown having to strike them both in the stomach, Frieza from that point made sure to connect a very heavy shot that ultimately had gone as far as to now demonstrate the difference between them in literally one-shotting both of them as both Goku and Vegeta did not see Frieza coming because right after initially having to connect with these strikes in making his way back down onto the ground, by the time Frieza had gone as far as to even turn around, Goku and Vegeta were in absolute pain and from there also now being shown having to go as far as to knock them out of both Ultra Ooh, Ego Ultra and Instinct. Ultra Instinct to where, mind you, we're not talking about a partially healed Goku and Vegeta, no, in fact, they were both fully healed before Frieza had initiated, to where even from there with Frieza now being shown having to revert back down to his base final form, it was only as Goku and Vegeta were laying there where Frieza went on to comment, while you two were having fun on this puny planet, I managed to surpass you, and the moment Frieza's ship had arrived, that's when he went on to continue, but I came here in pursuit of a different target, so I'll let the two of you off easy today. But even then, with Frieza shown leaving, he then went on to spot Maki and Oil by telling them, you two, you wouldn't happen to have any plans after all of this. As it happens, my ship could use a cook and a waiter. Well, we'll, 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 we'll take the jobs, please, and thanks, Maki says. Oh, yes, follow me, he says. Oh, yes, sir. In which, sinisterly enough, with Frieza now being shown leaving with Maki and Oil, Goku and Vegeta were now finally shown standing back up as they were trying to do their best in catching their breath, as despite the overall situation with everything that just went down, Granola stood loyal next to Monaito and did not leave his side despite what had just happened. It was only from there where both Goku and Vegeta had gone as far as to see this, with Goku having to respond, Is Monaito gonna make it? Oh, it's bad. He's not breathing, Granola says. As despite Granola's best efforts in trying to do the best that he can to do anything that he possibly could to bring Monaito back to life, as Monaito's body laid there, it was only from out of nowhere, all of a sudden, Monaito's eyes just suddenly shot open to where nobody had understood as to what had just happened because Monaito had in fact died, but now all of a sudden Monaito is sitting up, Granola is also now putting this into question, and before you know it, as soon as both Goku and Vegeta had gone as far as to turn their heads, the individual that was responsible in bringing Monaito back to life was none other than Whis, as with everyone shocked and not believing that Whis had now arrived on planet Sorel, it was only from there where Whis went on to respond, this one seemed to be a friend of yours, Goku, so just this once as a special favor, he 
says. Wow, thanks, Whis. Oh, I see. Season it's finally over. Time. It was a little too close for comfort this time. Who's this, Monaito asks. Whis, an angel Vegeta responds. Your father knows about saving money. Everything I'm wearing, I've had since boot camp. And I just saved on my car insurance for driving safe with USAA. Auto insurance that flexes with you. It's a fit. That's what we're made for. All right responds an angel might i ask for the two of you to return with me straight away we says lord beerus can't figure out how to make instant soup uh sure goku says uh, just pour boiling water into it done hey do you want to come train with us on lord beerus's planet granola with granola responding i'll have to decline i've made a mess of this planet so i need to fix the damage with the dragon balls that's right monaito responds then i'll seal them away for good this planet doesn't need them anymore anyway. Well, okay, Goku says. That's a shame, but it's your choice. In that case, you'll be wanting this, Vegeta goes on to tell Granola. What is this? With Vegeta responding, the radar Maki dropped earlier. It'll trivialize your search for the Dragon Balls. Oh, that'll help us for sure. Thanks, Granola says. Oh, well, I guess we're heading out, Vegeta. But that's when Monaito went on to tell Goku, hang on, son of Bardock. You can't forget this. To which, as soon as Goku was from there, shown extending his hand and taking the scouter that Monaito had now given him, Goku from that point was shown curiously staring at the scouter is screen and dead? now seeing Bardock's face his father for the first time, <laughs> which is a very subtle moment for someone like Goku to finally realize what his dad actually looked like to where even though they are identical, this was a very important moment for Goku only because now he finally had the opportunity to see what his father looked like. Goku's immediate response upon having to see this was was to smile as we went on to comment well shall we yeah goku says see you around granola monaito thanks for everything son goku and vegeta come visit earth if the urge hits to do battle with a saiyan vegeta says i welcome the challenge sure but i'll be sure to win this time granola says <laughs> that's a good attitude vegeta responds well off we go then farewell new friends in which the very moment we goku and vegeta had now made their way off of planet sorrel and now making their way onto Beerus's planet, it was only from there where Goku went on to then ask Whis, you know, the Oracle Fish mentioned the strongest warrior in the universe. Uh, was it actually talking about Frieza? Huh, perhaps, Whis responds, or maybe the strongest warrior emerged elsewhere in our universe. Really? Oh, I guess I'd better get back to training. Wonderful, Whis responds. I expect you to put in the efforts. After we help with Beerus, of course, that is. To where it was it was only from there with our heroes now finally being shown having to leave planet Sorel. It was only right then and there during that moment where Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 87 then concludes the Granola arc. Now, what an unbelievable yet shocking twist to the story of Granola considering the fact that with everything that has transpired thus far and now understanding the fact that this whole entire time as Goku and Vegeta were fighting Granola, as Granola was fighting Gas, as Goku was fighting Gas, as Vegeta was fighting Gas, Yes. Unbeknownst to everyone there, without even having to think twice, it only now turns out that Frieza this entire time had been training within the Rosat for 10 days, aka 10 years, which if the realm in which Frieza is speaking upon happens to actually be the hyperbolic time chamber, then one can only imagine as to how powerful Frieza had gotten while I'm spending sorry. all of his time there, on top of the fact of seeing Gas actually like have freedom. one more big That's hurrah in, kind of going back to pull a Frieza on Namek with the whole five minute gimmick and seeing what had transpired with Demon King Piccolo and even Perfect Cell in Dragon Ball Z to illustrate the case in point that just when you thought it was over when it comes down to the main villain being put down for good, well, it just so happens that he's actually alive and he's going to put up one final fight in hopes of getting his big hurrah, which by the end, what I didn't like about this was seeing the fact that out of all people to kill Elec, it was actually Frieza instead of Granola because I think we can all universe 
actually agree that if someone had gone as far as That's to fine. murder your parents and even almost go as far as to murder you in the process, <laughs> then it really doesn't matter whose characteristics or whose traits you're going to be picking up during the course of battle, you're going to want to get your licks in and you're going to want to seek out revenge on the exact person that has caused you this much pain to begin with, right? So I definitely believe that by seeing Frieza kill Alec, was that a very bad writing choice on Toyo's end, which kind of goes as far as to invalidate Granola's revenge from the beginning because that was essentially the entire point behind the Granola arc, so if he's going to forgive the Saiyans, then why is he also going to forgive the exact individual that almost murdered him five minutes ago just for the sake of wanting everyone off his planet, which- Oh my god, that's it. I do want to answer one specific question he asked. Is Black Freezer going to be compared? What is Black Freezer power compared to the rest of the fighters? Uh, I don't think he up there with Beerus or Jiren. Because uh, you got to realize Goku was only in the Amon stage of the Ultra Instinct. He wasn't in the Master Ultra Instinct for one, so. I don't know. You gotta, we gotta see Goku and Master Ultra Instinct versus Black Freezer to see where the power scale at. And they was not fully healed, Goku and Vegeta. So we don't know yet. But it's good. You got our brains wondering and thinking. You know what I'm saying? So I think he'll be very strong, but I don't think he's gonna be. Cause we know. I don't know. We. I, I never. I never got to see Vegeta full power since he got this new destroyer power. So I never seen it yet. Cause I like I said, I missed the whole arc because I didn't know this manga was going on like this. So I gotta go back and watch all that to see what's going on. But I think Black Freezer will make some noise in this. I think Freezer should become good after all this, man. Like he's not gonna be the same, bro. Might well join the team, you hear me? That'd be so fire if they just go around different dimensions and just fighting stronger characters. It'd be fire. Can't wait. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Run it up, run it up. And let's get it. Peace. So oh, guys, if y'all have more um, new Dragon Ball Super stuff that's coming out, send it to me so I can react to it, man. I want to, and I want not. I want to do, I want to react, I want to watch it because I love Dragon Ball Super. And they're, my, they're not making enough, man. They, they need to get back on it. They need to get back on it, man. For real, for real. So, holla back at your boy. Peace.